In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, today is morning. As usual, we have to thank the Lord because of what he has done for us. Today, we are going to thank him through this Psalm 50. Brothers and sisters, this is the true worship. We have to worship our Lord. He has done a lot to our lives. We see, we can open our eyes and see around us, hallelujah. When we, we look at them, we can see we are so, so blessed, hallelujah. We cannot recognize because we suffer of many, many things, but I just come to remind you that no matter how you suffer, but the Lord loves you, hallelujah. Jesus is your lover, Jesus is my lover. When I come to you, brothers and sisters, I just come to remind you, hallelujah. Let us share this prayer of today because we are all lovers of one love who is Jesus. May God bless us, my lovers, hallelujah, my brothers and sisters, hallelujah, beloved of the Lord, hallelujah, amu Marie Louise, amu Mararongo. The Almighty God, the Lord, speaks. He calls to the whole earth from east to west. God shines from Zion, the city perfect in its beauty. Our God is coming, but not in silence. A raging fire is in front of him. A furious storm is around him. He calls heaven and earth as witnesses to see him judge his people. He says, Gather my faithful people to me, those who made a covenant with me by offering a sacrifice. The heavens proclaim that God is righteous, that he himself is a judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, you are your God. I do not reprimand you because of your sacrifices and the burnt offerings you always bring me. And yet I do not need the bulls from your farms. 
or goat from your flocks. All the animals in the forest are mine. All the animals in the forest are mine, and the cattle of thousands of hills. All the wild birds are, are mine, and all living things in the fields. If I were hungry, I would not ask you for food, for the world and everything in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of, of goats? Let the giving, let the giving of thanks by be your sacrifice to God, and give the Almighty all that you promised. Call to me when trouble comes. Comes, I will save you, and you will you will praise me. But God says to the wicked, to the wicked. Why should you recite my commandments? Why should you talk about my covenant? You refuse to let me correct you. You reject my commands. You become friend, the friends of every, every thief you see and you associate with the adulterers. adulterers. You are always ready to speak evil. You never hesitate to tell lies. You are ready to accuse your own relatives and to find fault with them. You have done all this and I will have said, I have said nothing so you thought you thought that i was like you but now i reprimand you and make the matter the matter plain to you listen to this you that ignore me or oh, i will destroy you and there will be no one to save you Giving thanks is the sacrifice that honors me, and I will surely save all who obey me. Amen. My brothers and sisters, even though we are thanking the Lord, but this message of this psalm, Psalm 50, came when, when I was praying. And Jesus told me to give it to you as a thanksgiving to the Lord, but also as a meditation. This is a topic of meditation for the whole week. That is what Jesus told me. This meditation will be for all those preaching Kenya, Rwanda, English, and French. Jesus told me to give it to you because this is his message to you. 
in this very moment. This is your message. My brothers and sisters, means that from Monday to Saturday, we will meditate about this for one topic per day. Not so long audio like uh, preaching as usual, but we will have meditation. The title of meditation and the prayer about the meditation. Then you, you take your time, my brothers and sisters. We met as sisters and brothers, as I always say. We are sisters and brothers. We just, I just came to remind you, we just met because of Jesus. He has given me a message to you, and that is the message I'm giving to you. Yesterday, I was praying, and he came to me. I was, uh, it was uh, during the time of uh, uh, not offerings, but a consecration during the mass, mass of uh, Easter day, Jesus came and told me, you have to take to my children that I give them this uh, 50 psalm because there is a message I want them to, to know and to think about. Maybe we go or you go to the mass because you think God will be happy with you and he will grow up. He will increase his he will increase his weight. No. Brothers and sisters, we go for our sake. That is why when we go to pray, when we pray, we pray for our sake, not for the sake of the Lord. We pray for the sake of our family. Brothers and sisters, I have a message for you. And uh, this week will not be as usual. We will have only meditation. And when we meditate about it, we try to find the time for meditation. May God bless you, my dear friends. Continue to praise the Lord, but also not like ignorant, but like wise persons, like mature persons, because we know the Lord loves us, hallelujah. He loves us. That is why he has sent the, his unique child to us. Brothers and sisters, we have to respect what God has said and do whatever he's asking us to do. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>